Welcome back to Art Adventures, the only show where I should be in bed right now instead of filming. What? I mean, it's only 3 in the morning. It's not that late. Let, let, let's just get started. Hi, how have you been? I hope you're doing well. Today I thought it would be fun to take a look back at my freshman year at Columbia University. Uh, I can't believe I'm almost a sophomore. Wait, am I technically a sophomore right now? I don't know. Honestly, I feel like I just graduated from high school like two seconds ago and it doesn't help that I'm stuck back at home again and not on my own. Anyways, I didn't want this video to just be me telling you all the things that happened, so I thought it'd be fun if I painted some of my favorite memories from the year. I'm not doing all memories because most of those include me sitting at a computer for hours, which was definitely not a great memory. I mean, I definitely fell asleep in a lot of my classes. But anyways, enough rambling, let's get into the time lapses. So, this first image is of the Queensboro Bridge from the middle of the East River. For my architecture studio course in the fall, my professor had us take a field trip to the Noguchi Museum in Astoria, Queens, and I really enjoyed it there. Not so much the fact that I had to get up at 7 in order to be there on time, by the way, it's side tangent, but N trains weren't running in Astoria on that day, and I'm pretty sure it was a weekend, so W trains weren't running either. So I had to take the F to Queensbridge and then walk like 25 minutes to the museum. It's also really annoying because the only way to get to the F from the 1 is if you do an above ground transfer in Midtown and pay twice as much, or go all the way down to 14th Street and then transfer to the F. Sorry, I'm just still mad that it's so hard to get from the IRT to the Queensbound IND. Anyways, the museum was really amazing. The art was spectacular. I especially liked the paper lamps, which I use in my next architecture project. And I also like the, um, the playscape thing. Um, I'll try to find an image and insert it here so you know what I'm talking about. And if there's no image, that's because I either couldn't find it or I forgot. So on the way back from the museum, I took the East River Ferry and we passed under the Queensboro Bridge. And honestly, I have so many images from the ferry and it would really be a waste if I didn't paint more of them. Uh, so that's the story behind this painting. Next up, we have a painting of the view of my dorm room. I know I've already done a lot of paintings of this view, a lot of which were better than this one, but I couldn't not include it since the view was so amazing and I'm probably never going to get a view that good in my life again. This is an image of campus in the morning. Um, the only reason I was awake early enough to take this picture was either because I was trying to get to my architecture studio at 9 or because I had just pulled an all-nighter from working in the architecture studio. By the way, Barnard Columbia, if you're watching this, and I know you're not, please schedule your architecture studios later. Thank you. <laughs> this next painting is of the interior of the public library in Bryant Park. Um, so the story behind this one is that for the first project that I did in Lit Hum, aka Literature Humanities, aka Masterpieces of Western Literature and Philosophy, basically it's a course that everyone has to take, and for the first paper we wrote, my professor told us to find a bunch of translations of a passage of our choosing and write about how the different translations reveal or hide like different aspects of the text. So I I thought I would go above and beyond and find a translated version in French. Car je parle français, alors pourquoi pas? I told my prof he was super cool with it. Honestly, he was one of my favorite professors I had. And so I tried to find a copy of one of Sappho's poems in the library. Yes, it's the same lines that I use in my other video. The only books I could find was part of the off-campus collection. And it usually takes like a few days for those to arrive once you request them. However, my paper was due in a few days, so I decided not to risk it. So instead, I tried to find a copy of that book elsewhere. The only copy that I could find was in the public library in Midtown, so I hopped on a train and made my way down there, only to find that the library was about to close in an hour. So I rushed to find the book. Turns out they had to fetch it from their stacks, which would take about like 30 to 45 minutes. Plus on top of that, I had to like sign up for a library card, which was a whole process in of itself. When I finally got the book, I had like 10 minutes left, so 
I flipped through as many pages as I could and took pictures of each page so that I could actually read them later. I did that until they kicked me out of the building and I had to leave. The whole process was just wild. I also encountered like a protest on the way back. It was quite an adventure. By the way, I never actually found the right passage in that book, so it was kind of a complete waste. It's okay though, I found it online later that night, so that's the story behind this one. And lastly, this painting is of the view from my lit hum class. You can tell I really like that class. Um, for the fall semester, they put all 22 of us in this tiny windowless room in Pupin Hall, which is a science building, not even a humanities building. You can really tell that Columbia has a space problem when your literature class is in the science building. I mean, at least it's not as bad as some classes because they put some in the lounge of like a dorm building. It, it, it was crazy. Anyways, we were stuck in that room for the entire semester, and finally in the spring semester they upgraded us to a much bigger room with actual windows, and uh, this is the view from that room. I was so glad when they gave us that room, and then Corona happens, and so we didn't even get to enjoy it for that long. I'm not mad though. Yeah, I am. Anyways, those were some of my favorite memories from last year. All in all, it was a really great experience, um, although I really should get to bed. Um, you can find more of my paintings on my Etsy shop, link in the description. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, bell, do all the things that YouTubers ask you to do, because I am a YouTuber. That is what I am. Enfin, merci pour avoir regardé, et ça c'est tout.